All right. Uh, good afternoon to everybody here. We are doing a race for League Week 5 for between the Joy of Rando and IRL is so hectic right now. Let's do this anyway. Uh, represented by Shinmaru and Brunette Mist, respectively. I am joined by Arya Stark in commentary booth here and Gamachu for tracking. How are you doing today, Arya? Uh, I'm doing pretty well, Smirk, because you know, I am not playing and Shin is. So <laughs> yeah, it's a great start to my day. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. So they already got started here. It uh, looks like we get a bow in Link's house right off the get go. Um, and bear with us, we are finishing up their cropping and setup here, and we should get them um, matched up uh, with their timers as well here soon. But that was a hammer on Uncle on Shin's side. Oh, hard piece, though, after that. I was just hoping we get all the Y items in the first, you know, like 20, <laughs> 20 checks and just, you know, go from there. Yeah, so as you uh, as you know, uh, we are, Arya and I are both uh, teammates of Shinmaru, and we're in the team, the Joy of Rando, so we're, we're definitely not biased um, <laughs> about this race at all, right? What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, bias, <laughs> no bias detected. Um, but, you know, seriously, this is you know, week five now, um, you know, uh, this this team that we faced this week, IRL, is so hectic. RN and there's Samaria and Bonk Rocks because there we go, Y items everywhere. Wow, um, you know it, they're a bunch of super nice people too. So they are, they you are know, and it's nice. it's fun. Um, you know, we heard today that this is Brunette Mist's first restream, so that's pretty cool. We've all been there. Um, yes, yes. And okay. yeah, a little bit of a divergence here. Brunette Mist is going to go into the front of Escape, which is one of the, the fairly standard openings. Um, then, meanwhile, heading north, going to check Lumberjack. Um, did get a nice bull magic off of the bush crab and a four bomb pack off of the tree pole. So, yeah, so all set up there, ready to go. Um, yeah, the, the front of Escape play, you know, this mode, one of the nicest things about this mode is you start with the boots and a sword. Um, oh wow, that's the cape there in the first chest of Hyrule Castle. So uh, nice find for Brunette Mist. Yeah, nothing suspicious about uh, finding an early cape in a mode where you start <laughs> with sword and boots. Right, and we're in suspense here, looking at Lumberjack Ledge, like, hmm, what's on there? Yeah, it's and okay, the say there, say there is something on here, do, like. Do you rush it like with this cape? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what's either? Hey, all right. There's nothing problematic about that. Nope, no, nope. ether's not going to be important for anything at all, right? <laughs> yeah. Non-binary on the notes in chess and with a double take there. You got to make sure you get the right the medallion correct. Yeah. No matter yeah, what. Sure. So, um, do you think Shin ever goes to Hyrule Castle? Like <laughs> ever goes to Hyrule Castle? <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's a possibility. Well, I mean, there's there are other ways to to getting to the dark world or through Aga, right? Like just get a master sword. That is true. We're gonna mess down to one half heart Oof. against the ball and chain. They are pretty lethal. Yes. Imagine dying to the ball and chain guard. Couldn't happen to anybody. Um, <laughs> you know, nice bomb, nice bomb pack there. All right, well, Shin taking us over to CAC. There was a Moon Pearl in the drop down in the Lost Woods. So we have what? Hammer, Moon Pearl, Bow, Samaria, Boots and a Sword. We are, this is this is really good. Give me a hook shot and the, and the flute. And this that's like the perfect start. Okay, you got a bottom. Ooh, with a, with a golden bee. I, I suspect we'll see Shin using that bee for some rupees uh, at the bottle vendor. So let's uh, talk about this mode, Arya. I think that, you know, Thank you've you. actually played. <laughs> what what are your thoughts? What are my thoughts? Then nothing but positive <laughs> smiles and unicorns and rainbows and happiness. Yeah, I mean, you represent our team, the joy of yes, them, so, that I is mean... true. And that name is in no way sarcastic by any means. So um, this mode is one that 
toys with your emotions, your feelings, your hopes, your dreams. They're all dashed, like Ganon says at the end. He condensed, <laughs> he condensed that speech into a mode, and we're playing it here in week five of League. <laughs> Well, um, from what I've seen, the mode tends to have a, a lot of disparity between finish times. Like, I've seen people finish sub-hour and, like, hour and a half plus, and, and it's the same seed. So, like, what? how, how, how does that happen? Um, well, we have multiple potential win conditions here. You need to find two of three triangles, one of which is on the pedestal. That you can retrieve after getting the three pendants. One is in the Pyramid Fairy that you can get after the five, six crystals. And one of those is in Harrow we saw earlier. And one is in the GT basement. Uh, the GT opens with five crystals. So there are multiple pads. The game often likes to make you think you're going one way and then, <laughs> no, no, you're not going that way. Bait and switch. <laughs> yeah. And meanwhile, Shin did find a big key to Meyer. I wonder if Meyer is locked by Ether. Uh, place your bets now. Is Meyer lock locked by Ether, <laughs> or is that just a troll big key? Who knows? Uh, the game wouldn't do that. Nah, not not at all. Um, I I mean, these are nice items for sure, but not really that much direction just yet, right? Like, I suppose you could go to Eastern. Um, but that's, you know, like, uh, you, you probably still do South Shore here, right? Uh, yeah, I oh, absolutely would do Wait, South Shore. Wait, did Shin just bonk a 20 off of the library? What? That's a valuable 20 right there. You know, look, I guess if we get to Zora and he, that 20 was worth, then I suppose, but like, mm. it's a boot start <laughs> mode. You want to be greedy. Yeah, yeah so, I guess. Be, be supremely great here. Do damn to do damn to desert and uh, damn to desert. To south, yeah, then go do south shore after that. Try to garner as, as much money uh, as you can. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, well, if that's the case, I'd go to eastern Saha Eastern. No, this is an AD key. Shin will go to eastern. Oh right, we also need the big key. That's I, I was saying eastern, assuming you could just go beat it. But you know, it's everybody's favorite part of the mode, the big key shovel. <laughs> yeah, favorite. <laughs> Yeah. We see on uh, Brunette Miss side they're following Shin's footsteps a little bit here. Well, divergence is something that typically everybody loves to see. So we'll we'll see if Brunette Miss follows Shin into the dam. Brunette did uh, go to Uncle and get that hammer, correct? That's true. I think. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's that's. I'm pretty sure they did the front of escape. I I assume they did the hammer. I really hope so. <laughs> okay, yeah. Confirmation from our tracker. He did, in fact, go do that. Okay, desert ledge is junk. Well, maybe not. Shin likes <laughs> to get red twenties. <laughs> find a find a book right here. Go get that twenty. <laughs> Skip everything within desert. Then. <laughs> Don't do desert at 20. all. Just get the twenty. Rush the twenty. <laughs> yeah, see, Shin, Shin, Shin clearly watched my race the other day. Who would leave a hammer in Agena for like forty-five minutes? Nobody. Oh gosh, <laughs> nobody would do that. And look, there's another twenty. Inching closer to Zor money. Yeah, two ninety-three. Um, those two twenties, those two twenties, uh, helped, I guess. <laughs> Brunette's opting to uh, buy a bomb. Ten pack there. They were on four bombs. Uh, for where you're going at this point, it probably would have been okay, but you'd rather be safe than sorry. Definitely yeah. makes sense in that and regard. I, it never uh, feels good to run out of money. Absolutely. And Brunette Mist um, had a different tier of tree pole um, when he got to the trees and it was the the red 20s so he got 80 rupees out of it instead of four bombs so yeah that's a good point and you know to to be fair to him though that's uh actually payoff right because like that's 10 bombs that is, he spent 50 on bombs but he got an extra 30 out of it so <laughs> and there's dark world access for shin oh, and i group in control oh wow, okay hmm Double Zora logic right there. Glove and flippers. 
Is that super logic? That's that's super logic. So, wow, mean... okay. We need to add that to the add that to the wiki. <laughs> Zora super logic acquired. Yep. Yep. So I, I mean, now, now that the twenty that Shin did go get makes makes a lot more sense. You know, like maybe he should farm the rest of the money here in this cave. I think so. I think that would a, be an excellent. A trips in and start. out of the, a trips in and out of the twenty rupee <laughs> cave. I think will, will get us to Zora money. Oh no! Oh there you go. seven trips. <laughs> That's efficiency right there. Ooh, Shin making a risky play here. He's gonna not farm the money. There's no way he's gonna farm that money. <laughs> uh, okay, that would have been so entertained Burnett. if he did. <laughs> Burnett Mist is skipping out on the dam and desert, um, which is you know gonna gain him back some time here. Yeah, um, well, he did, he did do the dam, goes. but he's just gonna skip. Or, out again yeah, sorry, the, the desert trip. Yeah. See, Burnett Mist knew that there was not gonna be another hammer in Nagina two seats in a row because he already has the hammer. So. Nice water walk storing. Oh wow. Oh. Mm, all right. Well. Uh, I don't know. I might have kept the water walk. But okay. Um, I think at this point it's gonna be easy enough to just loot to eight and go to the Zora area yeah. and get the money. Yeah, with, that's fair. With Dark World access. Eat. Okay, back a up lot of things here available. first. I like it. I tell you, I would not have that flute. I would have been rushing off over to other areas. Well, I might. It depends on what was in. Um, okay. Hook, oh. Hook shot three. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Are we in go mode? Like what? <laughs> well, <laughs> like we're li we're a little ways away from go mode. I uh, mean, we're about to go to the mountain, probably, right? Like. Uh, we're about to check the awful shovel for no, no. no. Oh, dark world. Straight okay, to hype cave. cave. There we go. All right. Okay. Green pendant, swamp, turtle rock, and thieves town are the other two pendants, and then we have ice palace as our red crystal. Okay. Well, ice and Hera as the five sixes are dungeons that are pretty fairly easy to deal with even without the big keys yeah so with no mirror well just that kidding mirror. um so ped is already like mitts basically gives us almost everything we need right mitts and like fire rod um <laughs> pedestal yeah it's well you still need the thieves big Oh right, big. You need oh you need the two rods. Uh, <laughs> so we're a little further away than. Oh right, than Turtle Rock is the other pendant. So yeah, you definitely don't want to do pedestal here. You probably just want to go five crystals with two of them being Ice Palace and Hera, right? You'd love to. The game <laughs> has plans for that. The game, yeah, the game decides ultimately. Okay, Gosh. what? Chin is making a. Did we get a mushroom? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Filling up the bottle. Okay. Uh, I mean, Swamp is beatable right now. Yeah, Swamp is beatable. I mean, this could just be a... Well, I don't know. No, we're going right back oh. in the portal. Okay, so we are getting to see some of the remaining water checks over here from Brunette Mist side. Um, Waterfall Fairy had nothing. Piece of heart. Um... But we're going to get to see Zora Ledge and not Zora because we don't have the cash for it. But And Ledge is just bombs, so shouldn't save in some time there. <clears throat> yeah, shouldn't make it the early swamp play. Again, it's clearable, green pendant. Um, I, okay, not so... a lot of not a lot of health. I mean, I would take that mirror to the mountain. Like, we have Hera, which is a red crystal. You have the entire mountain. Like, I mean, the, so here's the thing about Swamp, right? It's a pendant, which means you're going to be sort of hoping for the turtle rock. 
right? Yeah, well, you yeah, you'd have to be you'd have to be hoping for four things at that point. The no, well, no, um, potentially no five because thieves big plus tr requires mitts, both rods and a medallion. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. TR um, is a lot. Yeah, but it's also okay. you know Shin may also be saying, look, the game has just really thrown all of the swamp stuff at me immediately. Yeah. That's true. That is and, true. And, you know, it's rare, but sometimes uh, mitts turn up in Swamp. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to mention. So somebody in chat mentioned that, and I was going to ask, isn't there like some something about mitts and Swamp? Mitts and a sword, right? Those are the two things that are always in Swamp? Yeah. Finding that blue mail in the, as the first uh, item, though, here in Swamp is pretty darn nice. Because yeah. this is this is the de uh, dungeon that likes to be death by paper cuts. Yes. And to be taking only half a heart of damage from the many things in the water and the assorted other nonsense. Shin's down to one bomb too. If he wants to do a uh, diver down setup here. Well, he's got Kana Samaria, so he should be able to diver down there. Oh, you meant for this part? Yeah, just for that, just for that. In case anything <laughs> anything went sideways there, it did not. Uh, but on Brunette Mist side, we're going to see a uh, Dark World entry up north of Village of Outcasts here. So, Okay, we got that divergence uh, we were talking about earlier. Um, Village of Outcasts versus... So, so Brunette Mist did not do the Hype Cave. He just went straight here. Shin doing left side swamp first. <clears throat> I like it because it uh, it saves time. I think it saves time overall than you know rushing the back. And we're still potentially very far from actual go mode. Yeah, I mean it's early 16 minutes into the seed. Uh, I don't think you're going to the back and then having that really be likely to tell you whether you're going to do left side swamp or not. Extra health is nice. Was that yeah. what's that snake heart too? That was St. Cart and a fairy in a bottle. So, oh my gosh, Thieves Town Big Key in Thieves Town, because why mm. wouldn't we? <laughs> well, you're angling for pendants. That's pretty darn convenient. Yeah, yeah. Because so, regardless, no matter what, you're going to be diving the front, or most likely diving the front of that anyway. Yeah, uh, I mean. It's, yeah. And at, that, at that juncture, you're, you might as well just complete the darn thing. Good, good call on remembering to check this uh, little loop-de-loop -loop chest here in Swamp. And that was, I believe, the fire rod there for Brunette Mist in the front of Thieves as well. I missed that? Was that third chest, or...? Uh, yes. Oh, and then Brunette a, and then is a not single. completing this dungeon. That's uh, it's a little bit surprising. Got three items in the front. Uh, and right now on five or six, five hearts. Green mail. Oh, oh my gosh. Fun, funny game, Swamp Palace. Uh, uh, swamp Big Key, chilling in Swamp. Okay. Fun times. <clears throat> Looks like Shin's going to rush back for that. Um, that was Brunette. Yeah, it's going a little bit roundabout way into up to um, Skullwoods here. Yeah, those... yeah, has to be careful with that. Yeah. That green mail. Again, the, the easy thing to forget about in these in these modes where you start with a sword is uh, it's still fighter sword until you get until you get an upgrade. Yeah. And then when you get that early dark world access, all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I can take these things. Oh, they don't die. I do though. Okay. So so far, Swamp has given us. Nothing, right? Besides safeties, we got a blue mail, we got a fairy in a bottle, we got a heart. Ooh, and a tough death for brunette. Well, at least he was already inside the dungeon. So. Yeah, that's a that's a major plus.
And this is it's not exactly a fun fight here against Argus with Fighter Sword. Shin's done a good job to, to take out multiple puffs right off the bat. Picking up some important health here in Skull Woods. Okay, so where do you go since there appears to be nothing in Swamp? Where do you go after this? I'm pr I would side. guess that Shin's going to do the mirror check, Stumpy, Shovel up into um, up into Cact to activate the flute. Okay. Uh, and then probably that area. He already activated the flute. He did? Yeah. I thought he... Oh, I missed that one then. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah, he because he saved yeah. it. But I think he still cleans up that stuff, though. It's the okay. easy way to be. Uh, question in chat. Why did Burnett leave Thieves Town? We are not entirely sure. It is a pendant. Um, it could be that he's, you know, not comfortable going to the back of Thieves on Greenmail with such few hearts. Um, it could be that maybe he's not focusing the pendants. Maybe he's, you know, like, okay, I found Fire Rod in here. That gives me Skull. That gives me Ice. Well, sort of Ice. You know, once he gets Mitts, like... Um, so, could could be strategic. Um, this mode is definitely unique. And um, choices like that, I definitely can see, like, a point in. So... You know, he might be wanting that ideal five crystals rather than the pendants. Shin picking up Quake off of Stumpy there. Okay, so that's Quake. We have that Ether that we know is on Lumberjack Ledge. Um, so... What is important about that ether is another thing that could be important. If it's required for Meyer and or Turtle Rock. With Turtle Rock, if you're not going for the pendants, it's not as big of a deal. But if you're going for the pedestal, that means you're going to, in addition to doing these three pendants, you're also going to have to do Aga. So I think the mitts... Um, would be a really important item to find as soon as possible to get that medallion information. That's a nice sword to find on a dig game there. Yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah. Renette having a little little trouble with this Gibdos room, which has vexed all of us many yes. times. It is not an easy room. <clears throat> Uh, do you know if he has something in his bottle? Oof. Ooh, that's a, that's a tough one. Um, I don't remember if he does. It would have been a potion he bought when I wasn't looking, because the only bottle he has is the one that had the bee in it, I believe. Yep, that's it. We are getting the menu check here. It is the bee. Uh, I think they, they might put off the rest of the beating skull woods for a later time. Um... This is this is honestly the same play that I would make. If I struggle with it, you know, I say, you know what, chances are there's so many other things I can go do right now. Um, maybe I'll come back to it later. Yeah, I mean, you definitely don't love leaving the dungeon, but it's definitely prudent. Like, if you think you're not in a, a situation health-wise, equipment-wise, that you're going to be able to efficiently get through a fight or something. Yeah. Leave, do something else, come back when you got some better gear, and close it out. For sure. Because, you know, and again, we've all been there, we've we've taken X amount of deaths and beaten our heads against the wall, trying to, oh, yeah. to beat a boss on, on low health and... Wait, hold on, is Shin doing old man without the lamp and he has the flu? Gosh. You never know what Gary's got. Can he get through the dead rocks now? He can. Serves him right. Yeah, just don't do the old man. You, but he has to save it. Gary. <laughs> Dark Gary's, Gary. He's stuck. Well, he's just, you know, it's, it's, his own, it's of his own doing. 
And uh, yeah, Brunette unfortunately taking an overworld death there. But just save and quit it. His house can again yeah. do some of the do some of these checks that we saw on Shin's side. Go to Hype Cave. Uh, if yeah. he goes to dig game, he can get that second sword, which would definitely be helpful. Very helpful. Love the strat here Shin is using. Uh, going up the mountain with the hook speed, grabbing a Samaria block to speed up the climb. There, it's really nice. A little fancy. There is a big key here on Spec Rock. Will it be useful, or will it be Skullwoods? <laughs> or will it be Skullwoods? <laughs> yeah. Alright, there's the mirror for Brunette Mist. And it's the big key to Turtle Rock. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Well, Shin doesn't, Shin doesn't know this, but, like, if he goes to Thieves Town, he's an Ice Rod away from, and potentially a Medallion from the Pendants. Yeah, yep. Thieves Town. Yeah, wow, okay. So maybe pendants are the way to go in this one. Goodness gracious. I mean, it's potentially, right, you know, again, if Shin goes to Thieves, gets that big key, it would potentially be uh, Ice Rod and Mitts from Go, because Ice would be doable. <laughs> With the fire rod that's also in the front of these. Right, Hera and... Yeah, oh my gosh. That's... Yeah, that's a very good point. Goodness gracious. This this mode is weird. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's definitely a thing that uh, exists within the world. <laughs> we're, mm -hmm. we're playing it here on, on speed gaming. But you say that... But it is also the Ice Rod you're talking about. And I did see somebody in chat, Nitro, mention Ice Rod can be anywhere, including GT. So... This game wouldn't do that. Oh, Burnett. Oh, 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 he deeks us. Yeah, I thought oh, Burnett was going to yeah. pick up that, that shield that Shin left. But Man. Yeah, he... Shin left the shield. Burnett left the shield. Come I would have gotten the shield smirk. Thank you, thank you. What uh, that is a loyal partner right there, a loyal teammate. I appreciate it. Shields are too good. And look, if you're struggling like with the decision to go to blind, this is a tip for Brunette. Get yourself a fire shield. You will block so many of those little fireballs that you will never look back uh, about shields. It's just that, that there's too much value, too much value. Or if you're if you're not important in this one because you're fake flippering, you, you already have flippers, but you're fake flippering, you're going to hobo, and you get hit by an arrow, that shield could save you there. It saved That's me true. many times. Burnett is going to head to Swamp here. And getting another heart in Spiral Cave, but that's about it. <clears throat> Did beat Hera. Do you think Shin flutes over to check Green Pendant and Saha? Because, or do you think he waits for potential keys for that area? Yeah, that's tough. And those those two dungeons are t are difficult because right because they are hard locked in terms of beating them by their big keys. Yes. Um, so yeah, you definitely would love to, you know, kind of like the mountain talk earlier. You'd love to be able to hold off on this until you get mids. Right. But who knows where they're coming? They could be here. Um, well, another bow is there. That's really nice because with the possibility of a super fast go mode, then having silvers would really help out with that master sword fight. <clears throat> Yeah, but then that and the TR big seem to have been all that uh, was found up there on the mountain. Yeah, no, not a lot. And we did did clear a five six crystal in Hera. Okay, it looks like Shin is making the village of Outcast play. Um, assuming he does dip Thieves Town. Now, do you think Shin will clear Thieves Town here? Oh well, yeah, it's it's a pendant. He's already got one. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. When when he finds the especially when he finds the big key, yeah. I forget yeah. where was um where was Hookshot? Does Brunette not have that? Uh, I thought it was. 
I think he. Yeah, that's right. It was back of escape. Oh, the back of escape. Oh, oh no. that's tough. So this is this is not even a clearable swamp right now. Right. It's just a, this is a hookless swamp. That's tough. Look, that is an easy place to forget about. Back of escape. Like when you get Dark World access at the same time you get access to Back of Escape with the glove. It is so easy to forget. And for me, if I don't do it right before Dark World, I I have actually been restreamed and forgotten Back of Escape for the entirety of the game. <laughs> because of that so i i feel for brunette mist here I definitely understand yeah i mean you get that dark it, it's totally reasonable too oh brunette's moving fast though they're booking it to left side swamp um <laughs> all right it was nice half magic in the brewery here for shimmer oh that's you know that's interesting that brunette dove um thieves without I wasn't sure if I just missed that he did the, didn't do the rest of it. Alright, Shin is almost certainly going to be full clearing this after finding that Bicky here. Yeah, especially yeah, again. With the with the swamp big in in tow with having picked up that TR big, I mean that's the pendants are flashing in bright letters and then we're just gonna see if the game as uh, entertaining jokes for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're still waiting on ether information. <laughs> There's, There's the fire that. rod, yeah. and we'll get to see what's in the back of these. So, I can I I do think that this is probably the the way to effectively play this mode though is just be ultra thorough and go where the game is pointing you see okay i've only watched a few of these but i definitely saw somebody not being that ultra thorough at all making some pretty crazy skips and they ended up pulling off the win so i don't know yeah like... I've, I've seen plenty more <laughs> including my own race where it was yeah if you you save yourself a lot of <laughs> a lot of headache by not skipping. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, like the thing, like the back of escape. You got you got so many options by Dark World coming open, but closing out that little loose end can prove right. critical. And in this situation, although no, it does look on Brunette's tracker like he has a hookshot equipped there. Oh, okay. So he did do the back of escape. So we just missed it. I think so. There's a little bit of choppiness going on with the stream, so we apologize. Um, if we miss something like that, he very likely did it while if there was a little bit of choppiness going on, and um, you know that could be due to internet or um, other issues. So, um, but yeah, so fortunately, Brunette Mess does have the hook shot, so he will be able to full clear swamp here. Did do left swamp, did get the fairy in a bottle, um, got the armor upgrade that Shin did. Um, will probably laugh when he finds the big key. <laughs> I've not been counting a oh, nice sword there. Tempered sword in Thief's Town. Okay. A small key lock in itself. Um, that's definitely four items because there were three in the front. So right. Either either the fifth is on blind or uh, Shin's already got all five. Yeah, I didn't notice what the attic had. I, I was trying to see over our Burnett side. And Burnett picking up that uh that fun swamp big. Uh, for Brunette, it makes definitely well, he didn't do a diver down setup, so definitely makes sense to if he needs to go back in to uh, check that big chest. Although I don't remember what the exact item count was there. Oh yeah, Shin did get every item in Thieves prior to the blind fight, which went according to script for pendant number two. So that's three dungeons completed for Shinmaru. That is potential like go mode material right like one the, the the one crystal is a red crystal two pendants 
So the trick is finding this, these mitts and this ice rod and yeah. potential <laughs> medallion. So. <clears throat> Yeah, the medallion situation, if I was in Shinshu's, I would be uh, much less worried about, given that he has one and knows where another is, he, as unappealing as that one is. Oh, oh no, Ooh. big key locked by that cape that is in front of Hyrule Castle. <gasps> That's interesting. Very interesting. So... Again, it could just be like an ice palace big key or something, which is not really needed to clear the dungeon, right? So it may not burn Shin, but it is interesting. Yeah. And uh, right now, Brunette. Brunette is taking on Argus here. Again, has some. Looks he like is only on Fighter Sword. Menu bossing right now with the. Minuing to hammer to take out those puffs. It's, you know, I definitely um, relied on this strat uh, when I was uh, still like learning a little bit more about getting those double spins in. Um, it's definitely like, it feels a lot safer to me to just hammer. Uh, I feel like I get hit way less often by those puffs. Mitts and King's Tomb? Ah. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Okay, so Shin, what, Shin's not gonna go, or do you think Shin's gonna go to Skullwoods here? Like, I don't see... No, I think Shin's gonna go to Ice Palace. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you go to Ice, you hope for the Ice Rod to be there. I get going all the way to Catfish, you're all the way over here at this point, you know, if you don't do it now, you're never coming back. Yeah, and he hasn't been to the um, Zora right. area either. Right. Good, good uh, Brunette Mist did take out Argus, though, for uh, the green pendant. It's going to come back in for the big chest of Swamp. <laughs> yeah, I, I... And again, Gamma not, uh, Gamma not thrilled by the, the catfish play here. But... Watch it be the ice rod, just like... <laughs> As you as you noted, like this is the this is the epitome of like trying to be efficient in terms of not leaving this as a total loose end, because um, <laughs> you can always come back out of ice and go to the Zora area, but Catfish is going to be hard, hard, hard isolated at that point. Yeah, for sure. So you might as well clean these couple things up, or just oh, say bye Zora. Nah. Yeah, and go to, oh no, alive. again, he, if, if he wants to come back here after ice, he Right, can. after ice, yes, yes. Good point, good point. And, you know, in, in Shin's mind, like, he, he could be thinking the same thing here that we've been talking about, that he might be Ice Rod from Go, or potentially Aether, which would be an Aga play that is doable. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you find the Ice Rod here in Ice Palace, and then you go up there and discover that Aether is required, I mean, you just go do it. Like, that's... Yeah, that's... I mean, it's definitely no fun, but it's... I mean, you, you have it's... your answer. The The worst case scenario, obviously, is you you find the Ice Rod, you go check, and it's Bombos. That is, yeah, a, a worst case. Because, like, you know, like, let's say, again, in the Aether scenario, you know where Aether is, you know it's like a three-minute Aga climb. <clears throat> and whatnot but like searching for the big keys for the rest of the dungeons that you need to clear way less attractive <laughs> yes very much so now um, on the flip side if you find all those big keys like here in ice palace then what do you do <laughs> do you switch your 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 pendants into crystals like uh, i i think you try to play for item density at that point And I, I could definitely see going up the mountain after that to do Dark Death Mountain, scout, uh, the medallion. scout Turtle Rock, yeah. You're feeling ultra spicy dive, Turtle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like Brunette Miss is heading to the Back of Thieves now. Um, looks to be on fighter sword still so they didn't get their master sword i can't remember if that was stumpy or dig game it was dig game 
Yeah, yeah. they went. Um, they they went back into swamp and saved and save and quit and uh, uh, started okay. that sank. So they didn't do that same um, northern loop. Right. Afterwards, that Shin did with the mirror. Yeah. So think... they've they've already gone. Uh, the question is whether they you know follow this up, and they do have to be a little bit careful down to <laughs> one and a half hearts. Yes. Yeah. Um, whether they follow this up by going back to uh, Skull Woods and giving that another shot, or going south after that. Right. They do have a few things that can be checked. I don't think that they checked the, the shovel, so they have those mirror checks, the dig game Stumpy, and uh, and the shovel. I do not route Ike's palace like this. I've been told that I route it abysmally, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I imagine what Shin is doing is incredibly amazing and efficient, so good job. <laughs> now, what would really burn that big key on Bumper Ledge is Ice Palace, and the Ice Rod is in the big chest. That well, then, then, then we ask, why are we playing a cross key seed and we're we playing <laughs> Champions Ganon Hunt with with Ice Palace big key coming back to burn? <laughs> no, no, we're not remembering that. Yeah, did not get. There's, you'll find out. There's no small key to be found here in Thieves Town. I gotta say, um, that I am so proud of like. Both you and Shin, just like watching this execution right now from Shin at this moment, it's incredible. Like, way, way, way better than than me, big time. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not sure, smart, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> it is. Have you I seen also play the game. <laughs> now, G Gamma is noting that there is an item in the ice big chest. Oh wow, we have an excellent tracker, you guys. Definitely. Okay, so this is a good time since we never know how long these seeds can last. Uh, follow uh, the the comms. Arya Stark is an amazing streamer, amazing gamer. Follow our tracker, who is keeping track so well that I don't know what we would do without him. Like this, like n even to the point where he knows that there's an item in the big chest there. That's that's insane. I I can never track that well. So thank you so much, uh, Gamma, for keeping us uh, in order, and thank you, Arya, for uh, your amazing voice. Um, I'm also yeah. worried and... for Brunette right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. Oh, yeah, they do. Good. They pulled it out. Clutch. <laughs> and last but not least, follow our runners as well. Shinmaru and Brunette Mist. Uh, they're the ones putting on the show today, so give them a follow. All right. Yes. Good job, Brunette Mist. Uh, that was a scary blind fight, but we did it. Um, and Pendant collected. Now, do we go to Skull or do we go to the South Loop? Yeah, I don't know. That that Master Sword could persuade them to go back north. We know they would definitely benefit from going south. Shin, meanwhile, got a tremendous item off of Zora. It's going to give it I... to this witch right now. Oh, was it Mushroom on Zora? Oh, gosh. <laughs> sure was. Paid five. Paid wait, 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 wait. Shin, what are you doing? Where's the fake powder? Oh. <gasps> What? I was just talking about how <laughs> proud I was. He fluffed it. And he didn't do he fake powder. <laughs> That's true. That's... But it is good fluff. That's true. It is good fluff. I, I am a little sad that no fake powder was conducted here, though. Uh, it looks like Burnett did not opt for either of those paths and... Saving Maybe is coming here to reestablish Dark World. Yeah, maybe they wanted to go somewhere else, but then they were like, oh, wait, no, I really should do this first. And Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Their options, again, are, are definitely less than what Shin has with those myths. Yes. Which is a positive yeah. and a negative in, in some respects here, especially and when you are hoping for one or two specific items. Yeah, for sure. And they might be finding those mids soon. They might be doing the North Dark World here. No, they're going... Oh, did they not pick up... They, they're dashing with the fighter sword right now. <gasps> they didn't pick up the blind cell. Oh. Oh, no. 
Ah, uh, that, yeah. I mean, I get this, like, I, like, good, good, good that they're going back for it. I mean, it is an important sword to get. Um, they're, no, they're also, no, they're completely redoing this section. Okay, we have that, a lamp. That, that, that door was not open in Thieves Town to the back. Did he inadvertently reset or something? Um. Oh no. Oh, someone's chat noting that a reset happened with the save and quit. Oh no. No, that's uh, that's not cool. That oh man. Yeah, that's just that that's never fun when you have those inadvertent things pop up. Okay, well, your worst fear came to, to be, Arya. Turtle Rock is, in fact, Bombos. This game is funny. <laughs> what a good game. Uh, man. Uh, oh, no, Burnett. Oh. Well, do they have... No, that was Shin that just got the fairy. Oh, they, they do. Oh, they they do. do. They have the fairy from Swamp. Okay, cool. Section is just gonna use that fairy here. This this spike cave check is not really in logic, right? No. Well, it's, it is. Yeah, it's we know. yeah, it is with that cave and. But Shin is doing it out of logic for him. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that oh, no. is what you get. <laughs> if you don't oh, know, my. that is Shin's least favorite item. So I'm required to laugh at him about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you go you go to Zora, you get a mushroom, you go to Spike Cave, you get a book. And uh yeah, Shin's gonna he's gonna at the very least check out the Meyer area here. Um but yeah, with that Bombos does throw a wrench in the plans of uh the pedestal. Is that also Bombos? That was double Bombos. We do not need that Ether Medallion on Lumberjack Ledge, so at least in that regard, they're saved from Aga Climb. But Bombos is the medallion we're missing. <laughs> so Yeah, uh... that's that's intriguing because um Yeah, Pod and Eastern are locked by their big keys. Desert is locked by its big key. Now we still haven't seen Shin go over to Zaha, right? Or did he do that? No, well? I don't think we've seen anybody go to that area. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's really interesting. I think that, you know, like, it's okay to take the, the time loss of not combining the entirety of the whole area when you're in this position, because that, that's... Swamp was empty, basically. And back of Saha is there's our butter sword. Okay. Back of Saha is still a sphere zero or sphere one or whatever you call it. Um, so that would be a higher priority for me than than going into desert. Yeah, I don't mind the desert play here. Um, just to clear this out along with checkerboard cave and get that area out of the way with boots and mirror at least it's as fast as it's gonna get that makes sense and yeah it doesn't look like he's going to beat it no well he can't beat it oh doesn't well, yeah, the big key oh that's yeah that's part of the that's part of the issue okay, right now. Like, okay. if he had big if he had the big key i would absolutely be beating that i would be beating skull woods and then just try to find a big key right right or something or Bombos. That's the second I'm... visible shield. Shin? What? Oh my gosh. See, I think Shin knows that I'm ragging on him, <laughs> so he's like doing it on purpose. He he paused there. You saw that, right? It <laughs> well, wasn't just like... Smirk, at the very least, I'm going to say he didn't bomb it like the time we were on. I was on restream <laughs> with him. That's how we garnered the eternal love of Lana Bean. So. Ah, okay, okay. But, uh, Brunette did uh, major credit again for Brunette with that inadvertent reset. Went back, clutched out another thieves fight, picked up his uh, tempered here. Uh, 
but Burnett's got some just some stuff to check out. He needs to he needs to get to King's Tomb at some point. Oh, big hit of Eastern. Hmm. And well, big hit of Desert. Oh, that is. <laughs> That's go. It's go. That's go That's mode. Crystal. Yeah. yeah, crystal go. That is crystal go mode, and Chin has uh, Kane of Samaria, so there's no lockout potential up in uh, Ganon's tower. Yep. So yeah, again, what you were saying, huge props to Brunette Miss there. Getting a hard reset like that um, can be really, really, like it can really throw you off. So mad props to being able to keep your head keep calm and continue going you never know what's going on on the other side so you know just continue going and doing your best like yeah yeah shin's not checking anything he knows he's in go yeah. mode i mean there's really basically nothing shin could even need at this juncture anyway he's got gold sword silver arrows half magic blue mail yeah he's he's sad like even has the lamp, so... Yep, that is a pretty clear path right there. Um, Shin hasn't yet pulled Pyramid Fairy, right? No, I would get. I would anticipate that that's going to be saved for right On before the, way the to Ganon, Ganon fight. Yeah, yeah that's okay. that's the ideal situation. Again, that's why the the Pendant and 5-6 Crystal clear condition is the optimal one. Brunette picking up... Uh, his book out of Spike Cave unfortunately took a death there, but you can just save and quit to looks like his house here. So Brunette's gonna flew away to somewhere. We're gonna see where uh, he opts to go, and that's the that's the mountain again. Okay, but, probably gonna do Hera. Yeah, it doesn't really have to. Uh, did he get over to Paradox Cave? Uh, I think he did. I just, I don't think he did Hera though. Yeah, obviously still lacking those myths is, is going to be locked out from the rest of these checks. Which really isn't a big negative. That is oh. crystal, yeah, crystal number three on the board for... Shinmaru in uh, Desert and Skull are beckoning. So, those pendants were not required at all, right? Except for the front dip of Thieves Town. Yep, yep. Just, uh... Just for the fire rod. <laughs> as it turns out. Although, again, like, that's a, that's why this mode can, can feel weird to play a lot of the times, because... These decisions have, in a vacuum, they make total sense. You know, you go where the game has pointed you. Yeah, for sure. You know, you go where there's openings, you go where there's item density. And then you look back in retrospect and are like, hey, why did I not think of this? Oh, because I don't have a spoiler log, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we're getting a hair basement check here on Brunette Miss' side. Yeah, there's, there's a large contention of folks who uh, will be very pleased at the uh, respect shown for the hair basement here. Yes, absolutely. Shin had no respect for hair basement, skipped it, didn't look back, which worked uh, very well in his favor, but... Um... <laughs> um, so to, to answer a question in chat, what exactly is Ganon Hunt? So this is a 2 of 3 Triforce piece hunt uh, the players will be getting. Uh, on Shin's side, we'll be getting one out of the Pyramid Fairy for getting the 5-6 crystals, one out of GT Basement for having uh, 5 crystals, and you can get one off Pedestal, and then he has to go fight Ganon, and it is a fast Ganon mode, so as soon as players have access to uh, the Pyramid, they can just go drop down and fight Ganon. Uh, it's not very well advised, but you could do it. <laughs> you, you know, send a message. Shin making quick work of Lanmos with those silver arrows, gonna flute here, head to Skull. Hasn't even checked out any part of Skull to begin with. 
Yeah, he dodged Skull the first time around, went over to the North Dark World. No, bring that down to half a heart. Get that fairy. Oh, fairy. Fairy. Oh, what a rude fairy. Oh, no. Oh, that rude, rude dead rock. That fairy. Who invited that person? Not me. This game is hard. Like it is, it absolutely is. You do so, like here, like even now, like I've played what hundreds of games at this point. Like, if I just mess up one little thing and get knocked off of my path, then everything goes chaotic. And like, you know, because like you have strategies to get you through certain places, you know, safely. But if you mess it up at all, then you get stuck with like these really difficult situations. And yeah, so yeah, and it's it's really easy to to get you know a lot of folks call it tilt or just frustrated uh, about things. And you know, as you say, you had plans and you didn't execute properly, and then it's like, well, now this location's dead to me forever. Yeah. Well, now this is now I've got to make seventeen immediate skips uh, because my opponent and uh, their perfect execution are crushing me at this point. <laughs> that is that is pretty much always the thought for any racer's mind, right? Your opponent is always doing everything perfectly. Yeah, you find you find one item slightly later than you could have. It's like my opponent had this eons ago. Eons ago, yeah. Just <laughs> that they knew it was there. And uh, wait, did Shin spin with the butter sword on Moth? I don't think so. I don't remember seeing Moth in that fight anyway, so... <laughs> it was a very fast Moth. Right, I think so I think he did spin, but I think it was an accident. I think he was trying to do a poke and then accidentally charged his sword all the way. Burnett picking up his silvers up there in Paradox Cave. Uh, but, well, I Burnett does still have a decent amount of stuff to do. We know that he needs to get to... King's Tomb, which yeah. is kind of awkward um, because there's a lot of stuff that is open in, um, you know, the desert and I mean, uh, Eastern and Pod area right now. So, yeah, you know, they're cleaning up the stuff on the mountain at the at this point, but I'm gonna have to make a call one way or the other after that. Uh, meanwhile, yeah. Shin is heading here to GT. Right, so even after getting the five crystals, you still have to go to GT to the basement to find the Triforce piece in there, right? Yeah, that's that's that's, that's... why the the ideal is the five sixes plus pendants, and the game loves gotcha. to say no, 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 no. You're getting those five crystals. <laughs> You're going to GT, and uh, yeah, aside from the aside from the big chest, uh, it can be anywhere. Same as uh, pretty standard see Alright, well, if somebody wants to take a guess on that, then feel free to get that in chat. Not exactly the big key guessing game, but kind of close no, it's to the, it. It's the big triangle guessing game. The big triangle guessing game. <laughs> is it, this is the big one. The one in the pyramid fairy is the smaller one. Ah, okay. What about the pedestal one? It's medium size. Oh, okay. So pyramid fairy is the smallest, pedestal is medium, and GT is the big one. Got it. That's well established lore. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, yeah, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Written in I, the... I know you didn't play. I know you didn't play this mode, Smirk, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> All right. Do you think Shin's dark magicianing or uh, just going full left here, rando rushing? Um, I would guess DMing. Didn't want that extra p extra full heart. So there is there any other like weird cuz I know there's like actually some kind of like logic you can kind of keep track of when it comes to the big key, right? Like oh, certain small keys were here or there and that could mean this or that. But not with this, right? This is just a triangle. I no, sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I believe yesterday that Tam did show us that the big key was in the big chest. Though I thought that in the initial build it was deleted. But uh, I did see Tam lift a big key out of the big chest yesterday.
I like uh, this uh, strat that Shin uses for the torches room in GT here. Uh, to answer Tyler and chat, um, Shin was a little bit more efficient in clearing uh, a lot of areas. He he picked up the mitts that uh, Brunette has still yet to get on in King's Tomb. Uh, Brunette's taken a couple deaths, had a really unlucky reset too after beating Thieves Town, so he had to he had to redo that. Which again, huge props to to Brunette for sticking that one out because that's that's the kind of thing that uh, we've seen plenty of people understandably be like, really, that kind of thing happened. I'm done. I'm not. I'm not playing anymore. Um, and he came back. He came back. He clutched it out. Um, but yes, yeah, he's just taken. He's taken a couple deaths that have cost some time. Um, and Shin's pretty much stayed on a, a fairly steady track of of progression. A rude Stalfos. <laughs> he did it again. Well, he died, so that's fine. <laughs> it's like... You know, and yeah, and I think that that reset was really the probably like the biggest thing there because he lost an entire clear of Thieves Town, and um, and he was not on the the best gear for it to begin with. So it's you know it wasn't like your super speedy Thieves Town that you get when you're like fully geared. It was like the one where you walk through more carefully, you know, trying to make sure you're not dying. So uh, it was it was a rough reset for sure. Yeah, and he was also uh, yeah, fairly consistently down a sword, too, just uh, in terms of how the two routed things. Uh, yeah. Shin, was, Shin was able to get that uh, Master Sword off of Dig Game, which it's not the, you know, the be-all, end-all, but it, may, it makes getting through a dungeon like Thieves so much easier. And there is the uh, triangle in Rando Room. Um... Do we know? We did have some guesses in chat. What number we was did. it? We did. We didn't count. 5, 6, 7, 11, 11, 13. I think 12, 17. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Correct. Okay, 11, we have 06 GTO. Got it right. GG's oh. to 06 GTO uh, with 17 being the correct answer. We had a lot of people very close with 15 and 16 and 19 as well. But yeah, That's Props. that's pretty that, Yeah. You can you win a lifetime supply of amazing uh, champions Ganon HUD seeds. <laughs> Feel oh free to play them or delete them. It's your call. <laughs> a lifetime supply just so you can delete them. That actually <laughs> probably would be enjoyable for you, wouldn't it, Arya? <laughs> oh my! I... Yes, I'd be right clicking all day long. Send to trash. There we go. Uh, wait, do you just leave them in the trash, or do you like permanent deal? Oh no, permanent they're deleted. they're permanent deleted. Ah, okay, got it, got it. They will All hurt right, so... no. They will hurt nobody anymore. <laughs> Shin is doing the big bomb here to get the other triangle piece, which we now know that is the small triangle piece, mm, and based it is on in... yeah. extensive Hyrule lore. That's true. Uh... It's in the left. It's in the left chest too. That's some insider knowledge. Ooh, will Shin fluff the right chest? Do it, read... Shin. Be a shield. No, he has to. No. No. Shin's fired. Those were those could have been the second uh, silver arrows. The second silver. Arrows. Yeah, those are super. That would put the Ganon kill in super logic. Uh, if you my get the gosh. third bow, if you get the third bow in the second silvers. Well, GG's to Shin. We 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 we're just trolling uh, here. We're uh, Ari and I are his uh, league teammates, so uh, some of the things we're saying here are just because uh, he's our teammate. Don't stress. Um, Shin is now doing the Ganon fight. I do uh, believe. Shin, yeah, Shin, Shin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't have the. He doesn't have the fairy anymore because of the spike cave play. So. Oh yeah, that's right. He doesn't have that cape from the front of escape. No. I did have to be careful, but. Fortunately, it was down to one heart, which afforded the opportunity for the potion. Uh, unfortunately, on Brunette's side, it did look like his, his stream froze a few minutes ago. Or yeah. the feed is, at least. Yeah, um, yeah. But... It's set up for a double. Be quick. Ooh, nice. So impressive. Two doubles. GG's. Get your GG's in chat for Shinmaru uh, for 
beating Ganon, taking him down, doing the seed, which is probably the biggest wor uh, worthiness of getting GGs, right? Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, it looks like Brunette Mist did go ahead and throw in the FF as well. So get your GGs in chat for Brunette Mist as well. Absolutely GGs to both of the runners. Brunette Mist sticking it in there, even after a hard reset with uh, so much time lost there. Um, and big GGs to Shinmaru as well for just crushing the seed and, you know, taking it away, going where his heart told him to go. Um. <laughs> Yeah, we will see if, uh, if we'll be able to get uh, either or both of the runners into uh, the booth here for interviews. Yeah. Um, while we are waiting for that, um, if you guys want to stick around here um, relatively soon, or maybe in a couple hours, there's going to be another match, not in the Open League, but in the Invitational League. We're going to have Sahas Kids versus your mom's favorite rando team, uh, represented by McKenna Kopi versus Gamachu, who is currently tracking for us right now, um, with Lana Bean and Tracy M on commentary. So that should be a really fun match to watch. And then there appears to be more later on throughout the day after that as well so stay tuned but what this means for teams uh, the joy of rando and irl is so hectic right now um the joy of rando will be at eight and two um with 24 total points and irl is so hectic will be at one and nine with three points um still two full weeks to go so still a lot that can happen to change the placements of all of the teams here um so if you're following these teams uh definitely keep an eye out for future races um, next week and the week after yeah and right now uh i know i think the the racers from what i saw are having uh little trouble with the invites and it looks like we do have Sh we are joined oh, okay. there we by, go uh, the winner of today's race uh shinmaru gg shin ggs i would like to say that saha is the worst person in the world <laughs> saha and i hate a, and saha i hate him. to the end game though saha needs a bomb in the face is what he needs <laughs> okay hold on what's up with dodging the shields uh, they're bad, and I don't want them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Alright, well, so what did you think about the seed overall, Mr. Shinmaru? Uh, it was nice until there were two free crystal big keys in Saha that you could have gotten like a million years ago, and the seed could have been done in like 45 minutes. <laughs> I was wondering, after Swamp Palace, I was wondering if you were going to go there because of the green pendant. Um, with Swamp being empty and, you know, Saha being a Sphere Zero. Um... Yeah, I don't know. This just... Seeing that uh, Ether and Lumberjack, like, really, like, I was like, oh, mm. And then I got, like, early Samaria. The Fire Rod was pretty free. I was like, is this going to be a stupid... Uh, is this going to be Pendants? And, like, these Town I was like clearable instantly so i was like that was, that was kind of on my mind it's like i don't want to go to pod eastern area unless i'm like looking for mitts like that would have been my next stop if like mitts weren't in um king's tomb mm -hmm. but when i it's like i missed i was like well i have to see if i can get into tr and still yeah so like poor i've already done like you know swamp and thieves but it's probably a blessing in disguise that i couldn't get into tr <laughs> Yeah, I mean, without the ice rod, right? Like, if, if yeah. let's say it was Quake or something, like, that would have yeah. been very oh, easy yeah. to go in. Oh, I 100% would have gone in, for sure. Yeah. Like, not even, <laughs> wouldn't even thought about it. But, and then I saw, and I, like, then later I got those two because I was like, oh my god, if my opponent got these immediately, I am so screwed. But can't think about that. Just like, well, I have to pivot. I have to go with the win condition I have and just, like, beat these dungeons as fast as I can. Like nothing, nothing to do other than that. Yeah. 
and i mean like everything that you did made made perfect sense like honestly like you know those are questions that i had like while you were racing is like oh what if he does this or that but like everything that you did end up doing was very logical like it was just like okay yeah this is the next play to make here let's yeah yeah the, that, yeah the route i was on i like it felt good like like i felt like i was kind of following what this he was giving me and kind of making like okay decisions along the way making stops at catfish to hurt gamma <laughs> everything, he, everything his eyes were nice. burned Yep, his eyes were burned. <laughs> he almost got an optometrist appointment before his race later. <laughs> oh, well, there's also one other thing I have to mention. So, like, I 100% intended to do front of escape. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so I played a practice seat earlier today, and literally, literally, it had the exact same start as this. Like, bow in Link's house, hammer on Uncle, five, six in Hera, and two regular crystals. And I was, like, freaking out. Like, did I load the wrong seed? Oh. Wow. So I had to save and quit and, and check the hash again, just in case. Okay, I see. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that 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 would be really scary. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, okay, Bogan. That's funny. Hammer. I was like, uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know, I you know something you mentioned there, and the way that you routed really kind of like made me wonder. Like, I wonder if this mode ever becomes like more official. Um, as a racing mode, like, I wonder if that becomes more of the meta, like, you know, you pursue multiple routes, kind of like you did, you had your pendants possibility and your crystals possibility. And then, you know, once you get whatever it is, then obviously you just go in that direction, but you play it safe at first and kind of grab yeah. both possibilities. Yeah, I mean, that's what I kind of do. I, was, I, I, was, I think the I, it's for me, I think the best Route is just be efficient until you're like you're getting like a clear direction. Then I thought I had a clear direction, and then uh, I said, "Well, the direction is clear. It's just this couple of the different directions." Stupid. Do this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Turtle Rock being in one of the minority uh, clear condition types is always tricky in this mode because yeah, you're reliant. Sure. You're reliant on so much stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, it's the one medallion that we never even saw in the scene, yeah. on, a t on top of the ice rod. Um, yeah. But yeah, they, the only the only thing that I was a little bit surprised about was um, you got that Dark World access and then booked it to uh, Swamp, despite being on relatively low gear. Uh, was that just a aggressive play because it had seven items green pendant and yeah you know it yeah. was clearable yeah, pretty much yeah it's pretty much just like this is a thing i could do right now i'm just gonna do it yeah, yeah just, after finding just, the mirror I, I, I yeah mirror. Like, yeah exactly i just like i'm just gonna take advantage of what i can do right now like mitts could be in here who knows so you know just do it yeah i mean and the the benefit that it had for you too is that you were able to loop that up to the mirror checks um mm -hmm. Stumpy, which obviously had a useless medallion, but you got a you got another yeah. sword, and you were playing up uh, at least one sword on brunette for yeah. most of the most of the race, which definitely made things a lot cleaner. Um, you know, brunette unfortunately had a might have mentioned in the race room had a uh, reset after beating yeah. the Eastbound, which was yeah. just really unlucky. He clutch he clutched out the fight on one heart. Um, oh man! But he had he went back into it, did it again. Um, which was again the smirk and I gave major major credit um, for for that, um, but yeah, your your route came together a little bit better, um, and you were able to to loop things in while you know, again continuing to try to you know move toward progression. And as we see in this fun fun mode, you can just yeah. just go to Saha because you know. Yeah. Here's yeah, the, exactly. Here's the yeah, to end the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like I don't want to really go to potty share area unless I'm looking for mitts. I'm like, well, bow. I got bow. There could be something in Potter Eastern, and then I get mitts. I'm like, well, I don't want to have anything to do with these stupid dungeons because I don't want any big keys. Go away. And so I was like, okay, here's big keys, dummy. What do you think of that, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's aha. Uh -huh, fine with the two big keys there. <laughs> Pro yeah, I could see how you were feeling. Yeah, I was like so ah, if only. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing and just clean audio today because uh, my audio was definitely not clean. <laughs> I guess the only, the only like solace to that would be that it wasn't like deep in the back of a uh, 
odd that you were never going to get to clear or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, at least sure. just go, it's go, just like, go, yeah. go to Eastern. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. you've already it's just gone like, to the desert, you know. Yeah. At least, it's, yeah, it's, it's, at least it's like easy dungeons to pretty much get through quickly. So I, like, I take two steps and I'm like, realize like, okay, I'm, I'm just in go mode right now, just do these stupid things. It's like, well, Eastern, don't have to check anything in there, beat it. Not super difficult to go back to the back of desert. Not super difficult to go back of skull. Yeah. And I assume that bumper wedge, the key had to be like either Hera or I think it had to be. Well, I guess it could have been Pod, but I assume it's probably Hera or Ice, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, we don't we don't know. Brunette did get the cape from the front of Escape, but yeah, oh. did not did not make the trip up there to to check bumper ledge and didn't he uh, still hadn't gotten the mitts. Um, yeah, the Brunette hadn't done. done the North Dark Loop yet, so. Mm -hmm. But my theory is that it was actually the Big Kita Ice Palace, and the Ice Rod is in the big chest. Uh, I couldn't. I got all the items. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Gamma actually tracked and said there was still Did? one item in the big chest. Oh, oh, oh whatever. It's nothing. <laughs> also, I heard Gamma's eyes. I don't know. So That's true. Gamma was already working with burned eyes after the catfish plays. So yeah, never know. I mean, I, I did catfish immediately before Ice too, so he was like in like yeah. max point. He was already crying. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Shin, for uh, hopping on and doing the interview. Um, did you have anything else that you wanted to mention about this mode or about how you're how you're doing in the league or your team, how they're doing? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, well, we can. Uh, I mean, everyone, plenty of people have like spill thoughts on this mode, so I, I don't think I need to add uh, to that anyway. And anyway, but just uh, thanks, yeah, thanks for the restream. Thank you for providing my lovely teammates for providing the comms. Uh, thank you for to Gamma for jumping in uh, the last moment uh, to track. I'm sorry I caused you so much pain. But, you know, well, part of Gamma's still learning, so part of learning is dealing with pain. Yep, that's true. Yep, learning is pain. Yeah, and I just wanted to reiterate the GGs again to you, Shinmaru, and to Brunette Mist as well. Yeah. Um, both put on an excellent show. Again, we're really sorry that Brunette Mist had to go through a reset, but um, yeah. reminder to give a follow to the runners and the comms and the tracker and just follow everybody. Uh, <laughs> but GGs again. And uh, yep, that's it for me. Yeah. Uh, look for the cross this week, yay, crosskeys. Yeah, so uh, I think that's that's pretty much gonna wrap it. Again, thanks, thanks so much, Smirk, for uh, for coming with me. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you, Gamma, and thank it. Thanks again, Shin and Brunette, for agreeing to be on Restream, putting on a great show. Uh, and what, again, to uh, reiterate what what Smirk mentioned earlier, uh, there is plenty more. If you can't get enough of this Champions Ganon hunt mode, and who can't? Um, there's plenty more coming up here on Speed Gaming the rest of the day. Three invitational matches on this very same channel. 5.40 p.m., your mom's favorite rando team against Saha's Kid. It's Gamma Chew against Pi. Uh, 7.10 p.m., it's Washed against Be Gone Pot. Act the Boker against Slumberjack. 9.10 p.m., these are all Eastern, by the way. It's the Fendrana Drifters against the Leftovers Restocked Mystic against Wall Kicks. And uh, there's also potential that a 7-10 match uh, between Laoria and Zero Nix of JK, LOL, and Amish Paradise could get picked up too. So there's going to be no shortage of exciting rando action uh, tonight. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Uh, great show put on. So hopefully everyone has a great remainder of your day and uh, see you all soon.